Jed Radali and uh, from Uruwai, Auckland, New Zealand. I'm Josh Holmes, I'm from Waipu, Northland, New Zealand. Tasmania seems like it's a good place to uh, have a trip over and just do something out of the loop. So here we are and in planning the trip to Tasmania we gave Hadley a call, yeah Deegan Marine. Um, we sort of wanted a safe boat with, you know, a efficient engine and Hadley had um, another boat to come with us so it, coming to a different place, another country, it made sense to jump in a stabby craft for safety and have a local come with us too because they know the water better than us. Eagle Hook Neck, you sort of really realise you're in a different country when you when we got to that ramp, eh? Game plan was to chase the weather really and, and get out of it because it was going to blow 35 knots. We're in a six metre boat so that wasn't, yeah. that wasn't going to be very much fun. Um, going straight into it so yeah we sort of fished and shouted from Tasman there and uh, well the first sort of half of the day eh, and we were sort of pretty close and it was looking pretty grim no one saw anything really and then poked our nose off the back of the island into the shit and um, there's a whole lot of birds working on the surface eh, and we we're in the 2400 well, I was in the 2400 and just short just shy of the birds and we had double hook up straight away and it was, it was great, you know, it was like finally we found something. We got the heads up from these guys in the 24, we we're on the 21, poked our nose around the corner of Tasman Island there and it just, yeah, as, as we expected, it was rough as guts. There was no protection there. Um, I don't know how big the seas were, I was down the back and you, to put a number on it would be just, just silly. Uh, the white water was rolling over the back of the engine. Um, I had to take my shoes off and go barefoot on the deck because it was slipping over all the time. Hadley couldn't, couldn't leave the wheel. He was a great boat driver. Um, some of the conditions weren't able to, you just weren't able to leave the wheel. And the communication between me and Hadley was just like, sweet, I've got the deck, you've got the wheel, we'll be good, we'll get some fish. And we did, we hooked, it, hooked, hooked the first one up. We had, Five lures out though, that was probably the downfall of it. We should have calculated that a bit better um, going around the corner, but yeah, it's living. And um, well, I'm cleared all the gear, fish on. About 100 metres before getting that fish on, there was a seal, probably the size of the Honda, on the back. Um, just pour percent it towards the lures, and everybody said, when you see a seal in the gear, it, and a tuna hits, the seal's just gonna grab the um, grab the tuna and it's gone. So me thinking that, I just went bare back on the rod, up the drag, just come here, come here, come here, come here. Jack with the gaff shot, he um, we got it on board and our spirits lifted. It was good. It was a good time. <laughs> and then when you can put the little straight back in the water, and that one goes off again, oh, it was great. We, like Mark, we couldn't let Mark leave the wheel and. He, he, he could drive that thing, it was awesome. I was wondering how he's going to turn it around. He just turned it around in the trough and these walls of water behind you and the boat just sat steady, just tracked straight. We didn't get lifted, like nothing. It was amazing. We, we sort of had to hammer it through a few, few of the troughs to get away from the ones behind us. Uh, for this trip, we've been running on a uh, 2100 Supercab. Yeah, Deegan Marine set it up, um, I think he, just meeting them and seeing the way, I'm pretty particular on the way boats are set up and you can see with the little, it's mainly in the wiring and the engine install and everything, Layout, everything. The, the yeah. whole lot he has taken his time to get it to get it properly done. The Super Cab 2100 with the Aero Pontoons mm -hmm. and 200 litre fuel tank, the combination Honda, of that yeah. with the Honda is just... If you're using 60 litres of fuel for a sword trip out of here, I mean... <laughs> You've yeah. got a full tank of fuel, you're safe. Yeah, you know, you've got 200 really, litres, there's three really days without even fueling up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and you're going to be safe. That owner's not going to stop clicking or anything like that. You know their reputation and you know they're good. The rod holders set up at the back and the bait board, I reckon that's a real big plus. You've got five rods on the back, so when you're on the plane, you've got five rods, just take them down. But yeah, the whole layout, the bunks are big enough for uh, me to sort of sleep in, you know. they're. Not that I got any sleep, but you had a little bit. <laughs> if we were to come back, I probably wouldn't want to fish with anyone else because we had such a great time. Yeah. Both, oh, all of them, um, Matthew, Mark, Hadley, all great guys, all helpful, 
very warm host. Thank you, it's trying to say it's pretty fucking ordinary. <laughs> <laughs>